So we got part three DL, he's stopping time. <laughs> What's he writing in there? Cannot attack. Wait. Wait, so in game, you can't attack him if he does that. Welcome back. I'm Kieran and I'm back once again with my degenerate Twitch chat. And today I'm going to be reacting to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle R. All of the great heat attacks, which I'm guessing is like an ultimate or like a special attack in the game. I'm actually a massive fan of JoJo. I'm an anime only though, so I've only watched part one to six. I know for a fact there are characters past that in this game. So I think those are going to be the most interesting to me. Like I've heard part seven is peak. So I'm looking forward to seeing those. Also, the good folks over at Bandai Namco did gift me this when the game came out. So I do own the game. So if you guys want to play that, let me know. Maybe we can do it. If it's got story mode, that could be fun to play. If you guys didn't know, I do consider myself an anime expert. I've seen over 2,700 hours of anime, which is like over 100 days. I've worked with Crunchyroll, been to some movie premieres for some anime like One Piece Film Red. So, I don't know. I know a little bit about anime, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. I love anime games. So, if there are any other anime games you guys want me to react to, let me know in the comments. I did do a one hour challenge where I said ora ora for one hour straight. So if you haven't checked that out, then please suffer alongside me with me. I'll put it in the pinned comments so you guys can just click the link easily and suffer alongside with me. There you go. But before I start, of course, I need to do my shout outs to the new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. We got Ronda King, Spy Crab Gaming and Gas Mask Land. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. I can taste it. Thank you to everyone who subscribed so far. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy the video. All right. So we're starting off with Jonathan. Oh. Is Ham on? Wait, this is kind of cool, actually. There's the Ham on attack. Wow. I forgot this was even a thing. Zeppeli. Shout out to my guy. Bro, this is so weird seeing all the early characters again. Like, I kind of forgot Zeppeli existed. Overdrive. <laughs> I like his style with the hand on the hip. That's the most JoJo thing of all time. Like, I'm already loving the... Speedwagon. <laughs> I'm already loving the poses. But it makes sense they both have the same attack as Master and Student. So there we go. Speedwagon, what are you doing? He just has a hammer. Okay. His hat. Gonna th oh, wait, what? But they all rush together. There it is. <laughs> oh, man. I miss Speedwagon, dude. What a legend. And we go straight to Dio. So he froze him. Wait, that was an ability Dio had? I do not even remember that. That was the most stylish attack I've seen in my entire life. He hit him with the Wakanda forever in the air. Oh, oh, we're already on Joseph. This is quick. There we go. Dude, I love Joseph. Using his little clankers. Caesar! Wait, what? I feel like I don't remember Caesar's attacks either then. Like, what is this? This is mad cool. You got little Beyblade rainbows? Lisa, Lisa. All right, what's she got? Okay. Oh, she's wrapping up with the scarf. Mikasa could never. The backflip? Is she going to catch? Nah. The way she caught the scarf, she's too much. She's too much. She's such a legend, dude. Is this cars? Oh, no. It's Essie Desi. Ugh, he's the one with the stuff coming out the nails, right? Wait, that's not coming out of his nails. Maybe I misremembered that then. That's kind of awesome though. I oh, man, I love the pillar men. Wamu. <laughs> yeah, that was just launching the attack. Oh no, that was the whole attack. Kind of weird that his was mostly in 2D just now and the rest had like, I mean, they're all in 2D, but like it, it felt like it was still on the actual battle screen as opposed to having its own animation. Also, is that Lisa Lisa in the background? If this goes up to part like eight. Cars? What the heck? 
That laugh reminded me of like light from Death Note or something. Oh yeah, of course. Oh. So so his was just a transformation. Like he didn't even really attack. So his ultimate ability or his heat attack is just him transforming to make his abilities more powerful. It's more of like an awakening. We go Star Platinum. Let's go Jotaro. Hit with the oh even did the time stop. <laughs> Iconic. With the yada yada does it. There we go. We do have old man Joseph. That was quick. Are you gonna do like take a picture of him? Like I don't. He's gonna use Hamon as. Yeah, there it is. Bro, the last remnants of Hamon. We ain't ever seen Hamon again, probably. Avdol. His baby core. Yo, what's his name? His stand name again? Magician's Red, right? Bro, it always cracks me up how he's literally just a chicken on fire. There we go. Kakyo in. Get with the little, little, little. I wonder if that's in this. Wait, what the hell? It's actually a really cool use of that. <laughs> nice. Man, even the, the colors, the way they animated this, it really does look like a, a manga panel come to life. This game actually looks mad pretty. There he is, Polnareff, what you got? I wonder if they have Turtle Polnareff in this game. Or look, like, maybe it's a costume. <laughs> they actually put the French in there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bro, I love Polnareff, dude. He's such a legend. Iggy! Wait, this is... Wait, Iggy is in this. How do the hitboxes work? Because if you punch, you wouldn't reach him, right? Like, can you only kick Iggy? Wow, iconic. His actual opponent, Pet Shop. I like how they're paying attention to detail. But to... he has two? He did one on Polnareff, too. <laughs> Are you telling me he has one specific to Polnareff? Because I kind of hope so. That's so funny. Oh, whole horse. I heard that whole horse and... um, I heard that whole horse and Josuke have a spin-off together. And I need to see that animated, please. Somebody do that. I would appreciate it. Thank you. This is ridiculous. This is some... <laughs> Yo, I don't know why, but that was as believable as... Um, Fast and Furious, dude. I do not remember her. Maria, who are you? What's your ability? Oh, she's just electrocuting fools? Wait. Is this game... Why is it 3D? I thought it was only on a 2D axis. Does she break the game? Someone may have to explain what's going on there. Okay, this one's cool, though. <laughs> she got the oh, oh, oh. laugh going on. Wait, so I'm confused. Does this mean that she has a stand ability or not? Like, it looked like she could create magnetism a little bit. There's Pet Shop. Yo, his stand looks like, um... Dude, what's that one Yu-Gi-Oh card? Is it Cursed Dragon? Bruh, poor Iggy. That's out of pocket. That's not funny. Vanilla ice. Or cool ice. Yeah, his abilities are ridiculous. It's actually scary. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that was cool, though. The way they animated that there. Wait, what? Oh, we're getting DL already. Okay. So we got part three DL. He's stopping time. <laughs> Yo. Beautiful. Iconic. They hit him with a road roller. And we get to hear Dio's voice actor saying it perfectly. I wonder whether or not they like re-recorded lines for this or whether they just took it from the anime. Either way though, that was amazing. This is making me excited for the ones I don't know yet. Like when we get past six, it should be interesting. 
Wait. Wait. Dio again? Alternate outfit? Okay. Oh! Oh, so if you do it against Jotaro, it's... That's cool. He has a Jotaro specific one. That's so sick, dude. I love when games do that. You gotta get clapped anyway. <laughs> what? Okay, this is cool. Oh, they just end it like that. That's so freaking smart, dude. That's so awesome. I love that. There we go, my boy Josuke. Wait, what's going on with his hair? Wait, what happened to... Get him! Crazy diamond, let's go. Honestly though, what is happening to my guy's hair? Okay, so Jotaro has a second one for like part, part four. That's cool. So he's a whole different character. Epic. I wonder if Jotaro has another character for part six then. Because if he got one for part three and four, I don't know. Maybe his part four and part six one is like an alternate costume. All right, we got Okoyasu. The hand. What are we doing? Oh, he's erasing him. I love Okoyasu, dude. His basketball looking hair. <laughs> what happened? Was that the plant part? There we go. Koichi. Don't tell me he says kill Daho if he does. I'm actually a little bit upset that he didn't, honestly. Man. All right. We have Araki's favorite character, Rohan. Show us what Heaven's Door can do. Okay. Anything interesting? So we know that we can... What's he writing in there? Cannot attack. Wait. Wait, so in game, you can't attack him if he does that. Is it, uh, surely there's a, oh yeah, you can see it like literally right there. You can see it underneath Koichi's name. It says like, it's got an X out. So I'm guessing it's like, surely that has to be a time limit. Otherwise that's too busted. Oh my God, I forgot about her. Yeah, that's right. You shouldn't have hit Koichi because now look, she's coming for you. Wait. Did she always control her hair? Oh, I guess she... Yeah, I guess she did. I don't know why I totally forgot what her ability was. Caught me off guard. There it is. <laughs> A lot of the stands in part four look kind of similar for some reason. Like this one, Rohan's, and Echo's for some reason remind me of each other. Oh, he's hitting that. Go put him on stage for real. <laughs> I literally cannot look at Shigechi without trauma because that episode where he with the door handle I'm still not over it like that changed the whole entire vibe of Jojo part 4 for me and I'm still shocked by it to this day not the Bayonetta are you talking about <laughs> you talking about Koichi's girlfriend from before I see it yeah that's right revenge Get him for what he did to you. I totally forgot about his stand though. His stand was really annoying. Of course. Kira's stand evolved. Didn't he have like two at the start and then like it evolved? Or had two different abilities? Bro, I really thought Jotaro was going to die in that scene. I like how much attention to detail whoever made this specific version of this video did though because like they're really pitting the opponents against each other in the exact locations as well. Like, that's dope. Yala Queen! Not his son. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? He summons his son, bro? Wait, that's kind of lit. Yo, this game is kind of beautiful. I wish more anime games made characters more unique in the sense of them actually pulling off attacks referentially to how they did in the anime this might be one of the best ways i've ever seen it done like this is really making me feel like i'm watching the anime again like it's flooding memories into my brain 
What? Yo, this is so good. What the hell? Okay, Giorno. Wait, his ultimate is him. Wait, wait, what? So... Wait, so his ultimate is just him awakening into Requiem. And then he gets stronger. Wait, I want to see what his... No! I want to see what his attacks do. How much stronger do they actually look in game after that? And of course we got uh, sticky fingers. We got Bruno. Oh, we're going down the zip. Hit with the Arriva I dare you. <laughs> He's still going. He licking his lips. I love Jojo, man. Jojo is so good. Now I really want to play this game. I really want to watch back parts one to six. I can't wait for part seven. Like, this is actually truly making me miss anime games. Like, I know there's been, like, a lot of uh, disillusion amongst anime games, like, in the past few years. But, hey, now I wish that I, I would have played this a lot on release. And I'm probably going to play this more going forward, to be honest. Oh, there we go. My guy Guido Vista. <laughs> is there a reference to number four in there? <laughs> you know what they remind me of? The way they the way they shout reminds me of Jack Frost from the Persona and SMT series. I don't know if it's the same voice actor. Yes! Narancia, my boy. Is it Aerosmith his stand? <laughs> Bro, I like how they're all bullying the hell out of Diavolo and they all deserve to get their licks in. I'm not gonna lie to you. One thing I will say though is um I love how Jojo has like their every character almost has their own version of like Ora Ora, similar to how with One Piece, a lot of the characters have their own individual laughs. Like how Luffy is the she 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 she, and the Blackbeard is a <laughs> you know, like it's good. <laughs> oh my god, Hugo, I forgot you existed, brother. He's in the game now? Okay. Ooh, yeah, okay, this is why he wasn't in the series. He's too busted, I forgot. Yo, his stand is mad scary. <laughs> Spice Girl! 1RB! Hit him, Trish. <laughs> I really, really, really want a zig a zig uh, I think that's so funny. I love the music references. I don't remember her saying Arriva Der Chiva. I mean, it makes sense. They're all, like in italy right but i always think of bruno specifically so that caught me off guard oh my god these two. Oh, so they fight together they're like it's like the ice climbers in smash bros oh here we go no leave bruno alone that was it Interesting they're doing the part 5 villains after... Bakugo? Is that Bakugo's voice actor? I don't know if I remember that. <laughs> Yo, it's how mad he gets it. Alright, and there's Diablo. There we go. So I guess this is the end of part 5. Wait, where's Doppio? Doppio's not in the game? You race. My boy is gone. Wait, so when there's that red thing in the left corner, like this happened with another character, like what does that even mean? Oh, Jolene. Stone free. Spider-Man over here. Let's go, Spider-Woman. Jessica Drew, let's go. Man, she's so cool. Just like her dad with the yada yada. Oh, Mez. Her stand is kiss, right? Oh. Could you imagine your head separating in two and literally slapping back together? You're going to have the biggest headache of all time. Oh, my God. Foo Fighters, FF. I miss you, dude. Such a good character. Disgusting! 
being attacked from the inside. That's so gross. She is very cool though. Oh my god! Anastasia. Dive down! What is going on with them attacking people from inside the body? Is this like... This is Jojo Part 6 in a nutshell. Oh, fun fact. I have uh, my reaction to the first episode of Jojo Part 6. So if you want to check that on the channel, uh, you know, have a look around. Oh no, Father Pucci. I still can't believe that Pucci isn't black. I'm not going to lie. Considering what happens in the series. It really caught me off guard. Oh, he took her disc out. Oh, wait, wait. What's that? It looked like... This is a new character. So it looked like Jolene was gonna do like a revenge attack or something. What kind of mechanic is that in the game? All right, so this is part seven stuff. This is all new to me. My brother is on a horse. What the... What is that? He also got the order order. He's got a pink stand. Okay. Diego. That's just Dio, right? So this is Jonathan and Dio again. And I'm guessing this is because obviously the stuff in part six where everything got reset. It might be or it might not be. I don't know. Wait, so he has another attack. Wait, what? Is that specific to this character? I guess it is. <laughs> Pretty long for a shortcut. Bruh, when this gets animated, I'm going to be so excited. Okay, so that was an interesting story bit then. Zeppeli, okay. Gyro. Like a gyroscope. Is that why there's so much like spinning stuff going on in this? Spin energy. Golden rectangle? What the hell? What? They're all on horses as well. This is a western at this point. Why are they all clapping up funny Valentine like this? I'm guessing this is a, a villain. Clapped. Let's go, Zeppeli. Spin energy is Hamon. So it's Hamon again? Diego, why are you blue? <laughs> My brother, why do you have ho No, no, I almost said, why do you have horses? The horses make sense. Why does Dio, Diego, rather, have dinosaurs? Is this the same voice actor too? Because that's kind of cool. Similar if not. So this is Funny Valentine. Okay, I'm guessing... It... I was going to say, I'm guessing you're a villain. And then he pulled out the American flag. <laughs> what is happening? Wait, what? My ability lets me freely go to... Wait! Is Funny Valentine just Diego? Is he just Australian Diego? Because he went to... <laughs> he went... <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, but I'm really excited about part seven now. Soft and wet. Okay, this is part eight stuff, right? Yeah, Josuke. Yeah, Josuke eight. Stole the fr So you turn them into soap? Another one with order order. <laughs> the way he span on the ground like a Beyblade because he had no friction. Or he really turned him into soap. Oh, is that why it's... Did he say his stand name was soft and wet? Is that why it's called that? Because he turns him into soap? <laughs> Who the hell are you? You look like an SMT character. This is Jojo? That's a whole persona. You, wait, you're cool as hell. Well, that was, that was very Jojo. That's how I'll put that. I freaking love Jojo, dude. But now I'm super interested in what the hell was going on with part seven and part eight. Do I just read the manga? Do I like wait until it gets animated? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think is probably the better idea. I do kind of want to play through the story of this game. If there is one though, if there's anything anime you want me to react to that I haven't already, please do let me know. I'd definitely be excited to react to some upcoming anime series as well. So, 
we can get that figured out but yeah what the diego has dinosaurs he has an australian version called funny valentine like what hamon is now spin huh